You are in the frame. <laughs> I love you. I'm in the frame, honey. Yes, yes. Well, so I was just talking about, so let me give you the proper introduction for people just joining. So this is Michelle, a.k.a. Jersey uh, Maniscalco. Am I saying your, your last name right? Yeah, Maniscalco. Yes, okay, Maniscalco. let me tell you. Man, yes, but you go by Jersey, and everybody has known you for that for so many years, mm -hmm. um, probably because you're from the East Coast. <laughs> um, but you have been in so many things. I was, I was saying we have danced together, did the Rihanna thing. You have been on the way back dance life uh, reality TV show. If people don't remember, you were one of the like primary characters there. Um, yeah. every, every award show, you've been there and done it, toured the world. And I just want to commend you for having the babies because I know you got them babies. Uh. Twins. I know. They're five. Oh my gosh, that is insane. I, you must have a lot of help because I, I have two and I'm like. It's crazy. Well, you know, mm -hmm. Miss Mom, right? No, I the have no idea. Yes, the whole I've time. The whole time. The whole time, yeah. Wait, wait. Okay, well. I know. Rip skirt. Rewind. What? Okay, was that on purpose or how did that come about? Purpose. No, how would that oh. be on purpose? Well, because some people get, you know, impregnated on purpose hey, and they can't have babies and they're pregnant, like, let me. It wasn't planned, you know. I wasn't uh, ready to have children. Uh, like, well, you know, I, you're like, what do you mean on purpose? I'm like, there's plenty like, of people oh, who. No, 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 not on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so unfortunately, you know, it didn't work out with the baby's father so okay. I've been, you know, a single mom living in LA, pursuing my career, you know, ever since. Yeah. And, uh, but it's good, you know, I've been just hustling hard. I figured out, you know, I'm, I just knew like when I got pregnant, I'm like, I don't want to stop. I don't want to mm -hmm. move home. I'm not ready to give up like on my dreams. Mm -hmm. So like, I just like when I was pregnant, I just went into like that mentality. Like as soon as you have those kids, like you're getting your body back. That's step one. Step two, yeah. like, stay positive. And I just like really the whole time I was pregnant, I just envisioned myself like working again. Yeah. Well, and yeah. you you have had the, the Haughty Heels class for a long time. I mm -hmm. mean, for, I don't know, what, 10, 15, 10, 12 years. I mean, it's been a while. So it's been like since 2008. It, yeah. So, yeah. so a long yeah. time. And so yeah. you've kind of built up this um, you know, following through that. And I just remember this was way back. You were doing, was it a fitness video? There was, it was UFC something where UFC you were like, fitness. yeah, you were cross training and doing this whole, and I was like, where are you? You've got like muscles out of nowhere. Like your, your booty is like, bam, like, I don't know what you were doing. I need to come work out with you, but, Thank you. <laughs> but we were, I, I saw you the other day and on, on Instagram and there's a new thing that you're, I, are you auditioning for like a miss, um, like there's some sort of fitness thing? Oh, okay. So this is like a funny story. Um, okay. one of the, the, one of my mentors, she was like, Jers, I think you'll be perfect for this fitness thing. And mm -hmm. she sent me the link and, you know, I looked into it. I'm like, what can it hurt? You know, I'm just going to submit and see what happens. Mm -hmm. So I submitted and I wound up getting into it, not really knowing any of the rules. I kind of just was like, whatever, we're in quarantine. I'm bored. Like, why not join this fitness competition? Right. So they were like, yeah, you're, you're in, you're in. I'm like, okay. So I just like, kind of like let it go because like competition is really hard for me these days. You know, mm -hmm. I did the Wade Robson project competition mm -hmm. show. That kind of like once you do a competition show and you know how competition shows work, you know. Mm -hmm. I know. Dance, I know. Like I was like, I was on Star Search too, so way back I know how those things yeah. work. Yeah, <laughs> you're kind of like leery, like do I do anything competition? Because yeah. it's like literally out of your hands. Mm -hmm. Um, so right now, you know, it's like you're in round one and it's like the qualifying round, you know, and yeah. you go against like all these girls, but it's just by voting. So hmm. I'm kind of like, I'm not really that into it um, mm -hmm. because, and then I look, there's something called a warrior vote and the warrior vote you have to pay. And I don't want people to feel like they have to, like, oh, no. pay to like vote for me to like get to the next level. Yeah. So I, I haven't been really promoting it that much right now. I feel like it's just for fun, but mm -hmm. I think like 
I'll stay in the competition. I don't really want anyone to pay for me, like, for anything. Mm-hmm. I thought, I've been like this my whole life. I'm like, I will work for everything. Like, I mm-hmm. don't need people to, like, pay to, like, get me to be on a cover of a magazine. Yeah. You know, like, it's yeah. ridiculous. But um, at the same time, like, I'm like, I, I, I'm like, we'll see what happens, you know. Like, I'm kind of, like, half foot in, half foot out. I'm in fourth place right now. I was in first. Wait, ah! yeah, I, I went from 18th to, uh-huh. to third to second to first for two days to fourth. It's, like, fun to follow. You're like, oh, yeah. this is so fun, you know, like, but <laughs> it's, well, like, so- keeping me, it's keeping me motivated. Mm-hmm. And now I'm, like, eating cleaner. I'm, like, working out. And I'm just going to take this journey and really see, like, where I can go with, like, my mental and my body. Yeah. Well, I saw you were doing some dancing in your living room because I saw it. Yeah, you know, those Zoom classes from the living room. (laughs) I was like, ooh, I get to see where she lives. Um, Well, so what, what, do you like it? Do you not like it? What, if you like it, what do you like about like teaching online or just putting yourself out there? Um, You know, like at this point in my life right now, I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to still teach. Mm -hmm. So like at first I was like, oh, you know, I'm not great with the computer, Mm -hmm. but I was like, whatever, I'm going to learn because, you know, all of my jobs like are like non-existent right now besides Mm -hmm. the teaching online. So I, I do in the Zoom classes, I'm teaching private classes, I'm teaching fitness. So like the teaching has just become like my, my main thing right now. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm just so grateful for it. And it's, um, it's helped me grow a lot because I'm able to connect with people in a different way where mm-hmm. like I couldn't connect with them this way before, you know, cause I physically, yeah. connect, you know, like fix yeah. you or, you know, like do what I need to do. Like as if we were in the room together, you know, that mm-hmm. interaction. So like you have to reach people different, you know, you have mm-hmm. to really like find a way, like, How's it going to work, me teaching, like, heels classes from a computer? Oh, I know? see Ace, Ace Harper's in here. Hello, Ace. Hi, Ace. <laughs> yes. Me in the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it is a different way to reach people. What do you think is the best thing uh, or the best way to, to, to connect with people who maybe don't know how to find you? You know what I mean? Like, do you, reach, do you try to reach out to a new network of people or are you trying to like really hone in on the people who have always come to your class? Like, what are you, what's so your I method? Feel like, you know, I, I, I have all new people right now because mm-hmm. the people who would come to like my class, you know, they, um, you know, they're a little bit more seasoned. I'm not saying that seasoned dancers don't take zoom class or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, but, um, it's like, it's like a different a variety of people more people mm-hmm. from overseas like who may mm-hmm. not be able to like have the opportunity to take class from you they're yeah. able to now you know hey like I get to take class with Jersey I get to take class mm-hmm. with you know whoever which yeah. you know they don't get those opportunities so it's opened up like kind of like a worldwide thing for people to uh, they have more access to you. And yeah. I really find that like IG live teaching on IG live is really beneficial because mm-hmm. it gives people like a taste, like, okay, like this is like what, what her style is. This is what she's going to offer. I don't mind paying, you know, the money to take that class. Yeah. Cause you know, yeah. some people, you know, they're tight with their budget right now. So they have to like get a little feel for you. Like, do I want to mm-hmm. take it? Am I going to vibe with you? Well, I like it, mm-hmm. you know? Yes. Well, I feel like there's so much that um, people are trying to cram into this, this, like this box right here. (laughs) And I'm like, so what is it? You know, like, what is the next thing that you want to do? Like, I know you're doing the fitness thing that's kind of keeping you in the moment, but what is something, cause you've done everything. So what is something yeah. that you want to do? Cause you've toured, you've, you've been yeah. on, you know, in magazines, you've been on TV, you've been the lead character, you've been acting commercials. So what's, what's, what's something you haven't done? So it's so funny. You were asking me that because when I was driving home, <laughs> I'm like, you know, I'm still in LA. Yeah. I'm still in LA with twins, you mm-hmm. know, and like, the struggle has been real, you Mm -hmm. know, like being a mom, you know, being a single mom, you know, paying for everything, 
you have to have that fight, you know, mm -hmm. like, I thought, like, I'm like, whoa, like, I don't know, like, how much fight I have left in me, because, you know, I need to, like, get to that next level. But, like, in my heart, like, I truly want to act full time, oh. you know? Yeah. So, you know, it's been really hard for me to commit and pursue to that because dance has always been my bread and butter. It's always been mm -hmm. my, you know, safety. Even when I started like really going toward the acting, I get that call from the agent. Hey, mm -hmm. Michael Jackson, you know, you're, you're on the list. And I'm like, but I just signed up with Ivana Chubbuck. You know, they're like, yeah, but this, yeah. <laughs> I paid my deposit. I paid you know, my money. Like, yeah. I paid. It's not refundable. <laughs> and then, <laughs> <laughs> they're like yeah but you know like this is a once in a lifetime opportunity yeah. so here I go again waiting in line for how many hours mm -hmm. and you know it was an awesome experience you know I was um the alternate one of the alternates but like it also like took me away from like what I I knew at that time I needed to do and that was mm -hmm. years ago right yeah yeah now we're still to present day this has still been happening so it's yeah. kind of like, it's always been secondary and secondary yeah. and secondary until you could really like, you know, like if I had all the money in the world, I wouldn't have to worry. I could just like study the craft, not worry about working, but mm -hmm. you know, I have to provide for two kids. Yeah. So that's like the level of pressure on that is already like so high and intense. Yeah. Um, that's why, you know, I have to like take like, the jobs, you know, this dance job, that dance job, mm -hmm. this choreography job, you know, fitness over here, teaching over there, mm -hmm. you become so, it becomes your job, you know, and thank mm -hmm. God we love it, right? Mm -hmm. like, thank God. But mm -hmm. also, thank God, it's still my passion. I, I wake up every day thanking the Lord, like, thank you, like, thank you so much for blessing me that I'm still able to do, like, what I love. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I could not picture myself, and I'm, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but I can't picture myself doing anything else. Like yeah. my mother is always like, Michelle, come home. Come <laughs> home. You know, bring those babies here. Come home. Yeah. Relax, open a dance studio. Like, oh. me and daddy will do anything for you. I was like, not yet. Like, yeah. if I open a dance studio, I'll be like 65, you know, like... <laughs> I'll be the one teaching when I'm 80 like all right kids you know like <laughs> but like right now, yeah <laughs> right now like you know like I have another path like inside of me that like I know like I need to do you know I know mm -hmm. and like um I have to honor that like I do and even if it like takes me like a long time I I I will start from scratch I'll put in all the work like I just that's what I want, you know? Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you have, you have goals, girl. You got goals. <laughs> goals, girl. And then, of course, like, honestly, like, you know, my passion for fitness is just, like, I, I want to do, like, the whole fitness thing. I've been, like, making my own program. Um, mm -hmm. Something I'm just, it, that's, like, just I'm super passionate about. I mm -hmm. feel like dance will always be there. It's a part of me. Um yeah, so that's kind of yeah. like what's next for me. And I really, like, realized during this time, like, you know, that we've had in quarantine, you know, everyone is, you know, exploring different avenues, like, realizing what they love. And it's just become mm -hmm. so clear to me, like, more mm -hmm. than anything. Like, I need to really, like, get focused, get, like, a, a, an awesome agent who believes in me and mm -hmm. who, who sees, like, that this girl can do it, you know? Yeah. Well, and I just feel like there's going to be so many random opportunities that are just going to be born out of this experience mm -hmm. that we're all in. I know that like, mm -hmm. obviously self taping is like the thing at this point and it's not going away. So that's another thing that people are, <laughs> yeah. are working on, you know, at home right now. So mm -hmm. just as part of like the online shift, it's like, and eh, we're here. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so hopefully, I don't know if you're, are you, are you sending out your reel to different um, agencies or, or casting so, people? I am working on everything right now. I'm putting everything together. I want to mm -hmm. like take my time and like really have quality behind my, mm -hmm. behind what I'm sending because like once I send it, 
I, I want to know, like, okay, like, I, I put out, like, my best. Not, like, my best, but my best in this moment. Do you know what I mean? Because, mm-hmm. like, we're never at our best. We're always, we're always growing. We're always getting better. We're always learning. But mm-hmm. I feel like um, I've always been that person, like, where I think, like, nothing's ever good enough. Where it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Where I'm like, that's yeah. not good enough to send. That photo's not good enough. They're not going to think this. Like, so I'm like, okay, like, yeah. let me let me satisfy myself with my work and then mm-hmm. I, I'll feel confident sending it because I don't want to mm-hmm. hear no, you know? <laughs> I don't want to hear no. I I've heard no too long. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you. I know that you yeah. have babies to, to tend to and you've got all this other stuff. So, um, but I know that people can still take your class, right? Of course. Yeah. So um, currently I'm teaching at Millennium um, mm-hmm. on Thursday Mm -hmm. uh zoom you can sign up at millennium.com or on the app and then i teach privately too so Mm -hmm. you can dm me follow me on instagram jersey love seven wait Um, why do you what is it jersey love seven what's the seven seven is gone oh well okay See, I look at seven because I have three sevens in my birthday so i'm always like so what's your seven and like (laughs) seven is like you know seven's a lucky number yeah seven all around is like just money. Mm, get so, that money. <laughs> get that mm-hmm. money. Wait, can we tell funny stories real quick? Yes. <laughs> Wait, what what happened like with your shoes with Rihanna? Was it a shoe thing with you? A shoe? I don't no, know. remember when <laughs> What happened with a shoe? <laughs> Wait. Don't... Wait, what happened? What no, did I, do? I don't know. We were in the hotel. Oh, I don't know. We had so much fun though. When was we there brought... there was almost Donna. a fight. There was almost a fight. What was, was, was it because of me? Not with you. Not with me and you. <laughs> okay, good. Not with me. <laughs> no, it was you. With you me. Almost... With who? We can't say because that person is no longer with us. But oh, that was, that was a different moons. time. That was, no, but I, yes, that was, that was, yes. You were, were you on that leg with us? No. That's Charlene, Sharia. Oh, yeah. I, I was, yes. Um, yes. Yeah. Because I, so yeah. So something cool after that. Mm-hmm. I know. It's fine. Oh my god. That but you so have silly. fire. No, what happened with the shoe? I didn't have a shoe. I know that I couldn't get my shirt off at one point during a show and I just twirled it around like this because it was stuck to my wrist. And Anthony oh Burrell god. was looking at me. He was like, what are you doing? Yeah, you're like, I <laughs> I think I think I ran past one of the, the dressing rooms one time and the and a mirror like completely fell to the ground and broke in front. Yeah. Yeah. There was, that we happened. had so much fun. That's yeah, all that I was... remember. You were always like literally she did the back handsprings in her high heels first, yes. first yes. and in her tap shoes, right? <laughs> I remember I was at this audition and we were in heels and she busted the back handspring. I said Yes, well, but you're the tumbler. I just, you know, I'm more of the cheerleader who could tumble when I had to. And you I, actually, like, had skills. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't doing it. And I wasn't back pants bringing in my heels. I mean, yeah. after, I was like, I need to after my heels. I was like, <laughs> yes. Well, because, you know, you're landing on your toes. You're not landing on the spike, yeah. you know. Oh, my gosh. Yes. You're always, like, literally so inspiring, so <laughs> nice, so funny. Like, well. I've always looked up to you, like, in so oh. many, like, I have to tell you that, like, honestly, like, you're, you're very inspirational to, I mean, it's just to everyone, I think, you know, you're so uh-huh. business savvy, like, you came out Thank with the you. book, the book, the magazine, like, I'm like, I have oh, another book coming, you do, yes, you're phenomenal, but, like, you need to write your story. I'm going to give you advice right now. You need to write your story. No, I know, babe. I'm mm-hmm. going to have you write it for me. Here we go. <laughs> bada bing, bada <laughs> no, you have, like, just the amount of stuff that you've done, regardless, and then add on top of it your babies and just, I don't know what the situation was, but I'm sure you, it's colorful. Um, yeah. <laughs> it was like world, world, world war ring. <laughs> Okay, we'll have that conversation later. But <laughs> but I think you need to write it down. Yeah, I yes. do. Yes. I do. Yes. Yes. Just call it Hottie in Heels or something. I don't know. I'm I'm titling it for I you. Yeah. Hottie Heels, Jersey and Back, LA Baby. I don't know. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. I don't know. There's a yeah. lot of things I want to do, you know. Yeah. Um, I just, it's it's just funny because, you know, I feel like, you know, I'm a lifer. My mom always mm -hmm. thinks I'm crazy. She's like, is this ever going to end? I'm like, no, it's not. My mom, my mom's here. She's taking care of my seven month old right now. And she's, she's the same way. She's like, is this ever going to end? Like, no. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. You're like, I am an entertainer. We're in it. We are we're in it. it. We're in it to win it. <laughs> yes. Oh, wait. I remember. Didn't you do the, the Canadian show? Um, the Devil Girls? No. Oh. Did you do that one? Wait. Um, hit the floor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's where I was pregnant the whole season. Yeah. Really? Doing Michael Rooney's choreo. Eight-hour rehearsals, 10 to 12-hour shoot days. I hid it from everyone. Finally, like, we were in, like, the last, like, three weeks of, like, the filming. Mm -hmm. And I was like, he had me doing back tucks, take after take. I'm like, these babies are going to fall right out of me. <laughs> but because, could you, like, were you showing? Uh, when we stopped filming, I was, like, four and a half months. Okay. So, like, when we stopped, I popped a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I booked Skechers, but I had to opt yeah. out because... I'm like, I got so lucky doing hit the floor pregnant. Mm -hmm. I, I can't continue to like put my body through yeah. that much like aggressive yeah. behavior. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me chill out a little. I'll just keep, keep. <laughs> You're so funny. Well, we will I talk again. I, yeah. Thank I, you for having me on. Like, yeah. I love you so much. You're Aww. the best. Like, let's talk about that book. Yes, of course. I'm I'm so in it. I just And you look so beautiful. Oh, you thank look you. So gorgeous. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm trying to get my my post baby thing together here. So. Oh. You're good. It's it's coming along. Well, if you want to work out, let me know. I I was working out with Alex. You know, um the other day she has the company with Furley called 3 Team 3XT. Oh, yeah. 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 She had me so butt. sore yeah <laughs> so you're sore. like it's hard um did you have a c-section or no uh-huh both times okay. so you know that like mm -hmm. it's like starting all over from scratch yeah like you have mm -hmm. no muscle like nothing nothing it's just here you, you go you can't even lift up you're like <laughs> when you're like that you're like i moved right <laughs> I moved. Then you appreciate, you know, <laughs> just being able to do a sit up, like after you experience yeah. the C section, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, you look beautiful. Tell your babies I, I said hello. I'd love to meet them one day. Yeah. I had no idea you're in LA. So once we're out of this whole quarantine thing, I will. I will come. Are see you, you in LA? Mm-hmm. Uh, girl. Mm-hmm. I didn't I know. know. I thought you were like just. I don't even know where. Yeah, no, well, I mean, I had been in France, and then I was in New York, and okay. I'm back in L.A., yeah, so. Amazing. Yeah, so, we, we will see each other back. soon. We made our way back. <laughs> I don't know. We could, this could go on forever. I know, we can. <laughs> People would be like, they're just talking now. They're just, yeah, they're just not. They're just chatting. Yes, <laughs> well, so, your Zoom classes, you can find them on mm -hmm. the links and everything on your Jersey Love 7. Yeah, and also, then um, they follow my Instagram. I post mm -hmm. like every time I'm teaching. Oh, good. They could DM me. So it's at Jersey Love Seven, and mm -hmm. then the Hottie Heels is at Hottie underscore Heels. Awesome. Well, yeah. I'll see you later. I'll see you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm <laughs> gonna go boxing now. Oh, hey, I'm gonna go away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. 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 <laughs>